Hi guys, it's Vol here and I want to give you an update on my random race invitational tournament for Dawn of War Soulstorm. It's actually going really well, really enjoying it, and the uh, RO16, the first round of the tournament has been completed. All of the matches for the round of 16 have finished now, and I want to give you a bit of an update on the results and standings of what's actually happened. So let's go through the uh, the matches one by one and I'll just uh, give you a summary of the, of the winner and uh, what the round of 8 match will be. Bear in mind, every single uh, game... Uh, from the round of eight, uh, every single first game, sorry, of the best of three will be on Meeting of Minds. As you saw, Battle Marshes was the starter map for the round of 16. We're now moving on to Meeting, meeting of Minds, so all of these matches, the first matches, will start on Meeting of Minds. Anyway, let's go to the, the top left of the bracket where we had Lurragpicker versus Atro Hyponia. Lurragpicker uh, managed to win that one. It was it was a bit of a, a closer series than some of the other series in the uh, round of 16, but Lurragpicker took it out. Uh, he'd, uh, he'd got Orcs over Necrons, and as I recall, he got Imperial Guard versus Tower and actually did that really good Imperial Guard rush and Hyponia forgot his uh, Plasma Generator and that's what happened. Uh, Ragpicker managed to take out that series 2-0. So he will be facing the winner of Conman versus Thrasher, uh, which, was, uh, which was Thrasher. Thrasher 7, by the way. So uh, Conman was beaten there by Thrasher. Thrasher picked up uh, Eldar's first game, uh, took out Conman's Tau, and then he beat him uh, Imperial Guard versus Dark Elder with Thrasher's Dark Elder on Meeting of Minds. And Thrasher moves through the round of eight to face Lurragpicker. Now, this is going to be an interesting match. Um, I think the underdog is Thrasher here. Lurragpicker will be the favorite for this round of eight match. But, uh, you know, this is a random race tournament, and if Thrasher gets some of the races that he's better with and Lurragpicker uh, gets some bad luck with his race rolls, uh, Thrasher may be going through the semi-finals uh, so we'll see now over the left hand uh, bottom left hand side of the, the racket we had FZ Chaos versus Pimpy that was the first match that I, I, I shout cast of the tournament Chaos took that one out 2-0 uh, all of the matches so far uh, that we were talking about there were 2-0 uh, were and uh, Chaos obviously got Space Marines over Chaos against Pimpy, managed to take that one out on Battle Marshes, and then it was it was Orcs versus Necrons, again, just like Lurragpicker versus Hypernia for the second game, and uh, Chaos took that one out as well. So Chaos will be going through to face the winner of Etro Anesti against Ridley Walker, and uh, Anesti was the one who took that one out, so he'll be playing against Chaos in the round of eight, so Chaos versus Etro Anesti, uh, Ridley Walker didn't really put up much of a showing against Anesti, I think Ridley, um, Anesti was much more of an experienced player, uh, he had the uh, what was it? Uh, orcs and uh, orcs against sisters of battle, and uh, for the previous one before that, it. Uh, gosh, I I can't remember to be honest. Um, I honestly can't remember that game. But uh, regardless, Anesti is, is through to the round of eight. He'll be playing against FC Chaos, so that will be a very cool game because uh, those guys used to be in the same clan. And uh, they're both very experienced players. I've commentated on one of their matches before. It was the Space Marines versus Necrons game. Very close, very exciting. Uh, I know that NST is practicing for this, so this will be a really cool one to watch. Hope you guys enjoy it. And this is definitely one of the, the major matches that the run of eight to look out for. Now let's go to the top right of the bracket where we had Santiago Forever up against Orgad E. A lot of people were predicting that match would be very one-sided. I don't think it was. I think uh, Orgad put up a really good fight against Santiago. But of course, Santiago being uh, probably the favorite to win the tournament, uh, the, uh, my top seed here, he's he's the top-ranked player in, in, what was it, the ESL or one of those uh, ranking things. Not too familiar with the whole European uh, system for uh, the, the pro scene for this game. But Santiago Forever goes through the round of eight uh, over Orgad E. He had um, Space Marines versus Imperial Guard. Uh, uh, took it out as Space Marines. Then the second game was uh, Orcs versus Tau, and uh, Santiago's uh, Tau managed to take that one out on uh, Outer Reaches, if you guys saw that match recently. So Santiago Forever will be playing against Darky, who managed to beat Compiador, and that was the only match of the series so far which went to three games. It was Compiador uh, as, as, as Eldar versus Darky's Imperial Guard for game one. Compiador won it with Eldar because uh, Compidor was an, an Eldar expert, but the second game was Dark Eldar versus Chaos, and uh, Darky knew much more about the matchup, and managed to use Dark Eldar to a great effect with uh, Helium Zip Bikes, and, and won that one, and the final game, Tau against Chaos, with a Tau on Meeting of Minds, uh, was an easy win there for Darky. Uh, for game three, and it went, and it now goes through the round of eight. So San Diego Ferrer t actually tells me that he's very, look, very much looking forward to playing Darkie in the round of eight. I'm very much looking forward to watching these guys go at it. Hopefully, it will go to three games again, just like it did for Darkie's uh, round of sixteen game. Uh, and uh, these guys facing off, I hope they get uh, a really cool matchup like Space Marines versus Chaos. At least that's what San Diego uh, is hoping as well. So that's uh, nice and even. 
and uh, that's going to be a really exciting one, probably right up there with Chaos and Anesti, although I think Chaos and Anesti is probably going to be the favorite for my my pick of the round of eight uh, to, to look out for. Anyway, finally, uh, the round of 16 conflu- concluded with Hey Catch versus Emadayo and Esso Como versus Deathwing just last night. Uh, Catch managed to beat Emadayo. Catch, I think, was the superior player there. He uh, he did a lot of rushes, which which Emadayo just wasn't able to, to contend with. Catch got Imperial Guard twice in that matchup, twice in a row. Emadayo had to go with, I think it was Necrons, and uh, and Dark Elder, uh, picking Fallen City for that. For, so nice choice there, Fallen City. Uh, the first time we saw that map in this tournament so far. But Catch goes through the round of eight to face off against S.O. Kimura. If you haven't watched that match yet, uh, sorry to spoil it for you, but uh, Kimura has beaten Deathwing DA in a two-game series. Kimura had... Uh, had Chaos in Game 1 up against Deathwing Sisters Battle on Battle Marshes, and Kimura won that, and then it was Meeting Minds, uh, Kimura, Kimura's Eldar versus Deathwing's Dark Eldar, and the Eldar took the day there with lots of Dark Reapers, lots of Warp Spiders, and lots of dead Dark Eldar. So, hope you guys are enjoying this tournament so far, I definitely am having a lot of fun shoutcasting it, thanks for all of your feedback. We're now through the round of 8, I'm going to be shoutcasting it immediately as soon as I've got some games up and running. Uh, to the players, please organize your games uh, as soon as you want to. Please, please don't use any more stupid color schemes. Please save your replays after the games. Don't rename the temporary replay file. It causes sync errors and it causes a real nightmare for me trying to commentate. Uh, it's a real disappointment for the fans too, watching games and they can't watch the ending or whatever. So please save your replays after the game, uh, regardless of whether you're winning or losing. Just save the replays and we're fine. And uh, before we know it, we're probably through to the semifinals and that's going to be really awesome. Thinking of even making the semi-finals best of five instead of best of three. We'll see. But anyway, don't forget, guys. Meeting of Minds, game one for the round of eight, each of the best of threes. Uh, let's go. Let's do it. <laughs> 